Hello again and welcome to the OpenEMR database. Today we're going to try to do three things. First is to add your facility to the database. Second is to add users to the database so we can start inputting information. And third, uh, we'd like to show you how to link to pharmacies and to insurance companies. All right, to begin, let's clean up uh, the look of the screen a little bit. We'll click on bottom and uh, we'll remove that, making uh, the screen a little cleaner uh, to deal with. We'll come over here to Administration. We'll click on that. We'll come down here to Facilities. We'll click on that. And you can see I've already input the world's best clinic. So if there was nothing there, I would click on Add. And when I clicked on Add, you would see the screen. And here I've, I've inputted the world's best clinic. Um, the address is 1313. Mockingbird Lane. It looks like um, they've built an addition onto the Munsters' home, and uh, this clinic is uh, is operating from that addition. So they're in Hootersville, California, uh, in the USA. Um, you know, here the website is theworldsbestclinic.com. We have the phone number, the fax number, their zip code. Now. We also have an EIN number, and if they weren't incorporated, didn't have an EIN, uh, we could also use their social security number, or, or the owner's social security number. Now, this facility has an NPI, and, and that's a national provider identifier, and it's a way to send uh, personal health information in HIPAA format. Their email is info at, at worldsbestclinic.com. Um, over here, we see a couple of blocks, three blocks. Uh, and the first is billing location, the second is service location, and the third is primary business entity. Now, if uh, this was just a billing location and, and we weren't uh, providing services uh, from providers uh, of any kind at this facility, we would just click billing location, input the information, hit save, come back here to add, a second screen would come up and on that screen we would just click service location and then whether or not it was our primary business entity. As, uh, as this is just a, a single clinic doctor's office, uh, we're going to say that we receive our bills here. Uh, this is also a service location and it is also our primary business entity. Um, down below we're looking here, if we click on pick colors come up and you see the numbers at the bottom of this block change and if you were to click on that the number would appear here and that would then become the color of the calendar. If you click on POS code, POS code identifies what kind of an office this is. Uh, is it a school? Is it a homeless shelter? Is it an Indian Health Service uh, freestanding facility? Is it an urgent care? Uh, and since we're a doctor's office we'll select Office, we'll click on Save, and your facility is now input into the OpenEMR database. So below Facilities is Users. If we click on Users um, and we hit Add User, you will see this screen. Um, you can start to input, first you need your password uh, to get in and to save, to make sure it's you. If we're going to talk about a doctor, you click Provider, and when provider is clicked, calendar and active are also checked because every physician needs a calendar. A calendar has to be active for the, for the physician to do his or her work. This particular physician's name is John Darwin Doctor. He works at the World's Best Clinic. Now, if, if we own several clinics or several doctor's offices, you could click and select uh, the clinic or the doctor's office that this physician worked at. Uh, he has to have a federal drug ID to write prescriptions. He's only, he only wants to do his own authorizations. He doesn't want to authorize anybody else's stuff. Um, we, we've listed him as a physician. The calendar is an Outlook. And New Crop e, uh, ERX role, um, we need to identify him as a physician in the system. Since he's not supervising anybody, we'll just list him as a doctor. Um, Let's see, his NPI is uh, the National Provider Identifier. We spoke about that earlier. His UPIN is, is a unique physician identifier. Um, he needs that for Medicare Medicaid. 
his tax ID is there. Um, and under access control, we want to give him a physician's access so we can look into uh, the clinical data for the electronic medical database. I could also add additional information here if there was a need. Uh, for instance, maybe he has a specialty in family med uh, medicine. Maybe um, he, you know, he's, he's been an emergency room physician. Uh, maybe he can do endocrinology as well as a general practice. So with that information, either input or not, we would come up here and click on Save. And that physician would now be able to use the database. We can come down here to ACL, and it lists everybody in the database. Here's the world's best doctor. If we click onto groups and access controls, if we look under clinicians, this is where we can give the clinician rights uh, with respect to access. So he can look at medical histories, he can sign lab results, he can authorize uh, his encounters, um, he can uh, write scripts to the pharmacy, and to, to move things from one side to the other, you merely have to click on them and hit the arrows. So with respect to um, insurance companies and pharmacies, we would come up here and click on practice. If nothing existed here, we would click on add a pharmacy and we would see this screen. Pharmacy name is required, the address, city, state, zip, um, they need to have an email so that they can be emailed scripts, a phone number or and a fax number. Uh, now here, you can print or email or fax, and, and we're merely identifying the way the provider wants to send scripts to, uh, to the discount drug place. So we, we selected our default as email, we click save, and now we've added a pharmacy to the open email our database. If we wanted to add a second, we would merely input the data again, select the, full, uh, the default method for transmission of uh, the physician scripts, hit save again, and, and we would be in. Now, we need to do that as many times as, uh, as necessary for the physician to set up, um, to set up these links with all the pharmacies in the area that his patients um, might want their scripts uh, delivered to. Let's talk a little bit about insurance companies. The screen is the same. Um, we would click on add a company and then here is Blue Cross Blue Shield. So we identify the name of the company, the address, the state, I'm sorry, the city, state, and zip, the contact ID, um, the uh, CMS Center for Medicaid, Medicare and Medicaid Services ID. Um, under payer type, we can click on that and we could say, well, they're either Champus, um, Champ US VA, they're Medicare Part B, they're uh, an HMO, uh, but for the purposes of this video, we will select Blue Cross Blue Shield. We will then click Save, and now we've added an insurance company to the video. So if I needed to add a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth, uh, certainly we, we would repeat the process, input the information, click Save, and uh, all those insurance companies would then be lined up, and we can select and edit them uh, as that becomes necessary. Well, in today's video, we've gone over how to add your facility to the OpenEMR database, We've, uh, we've quickly covered how to uh, add users and assign user rights uh, by job description. And we've also talked a little bit about how to add pharmacies and insurance companies um, for scripts and for billing purposes. I hope you found the video informative, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.